Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be doing kind of a different video. I've never done this before, so I hope it turns out a-okay. But today I am going to be doing a three looks and one palette makeup tutorial with the Motives Element Palette, which I just received from my friends from Motives, Carl Cole and Shannon Goodberry sent to me. Very nice of them, along with some other products in the past which I've really been enjoying and been using a lot on myself and clients. Today I want to focus on this eyeshadow palette right here. You can see yourself. Hello. <laughs> really love this palette. I think one of the most things that stands out to me about this palette is the fact that I think it's very age wearable. And when I say that, I'm not saying it specifically for older people. I think it's really draws attention from younger audiences and older audiences. When I first got this palette and I was like, Mom, look, it came. She was like, that's the palette I want. Like, I want those colors. Those colors are gorgeous. That, the colors are very mixable, blendable, and you can do lots of different looks because they're very, I'd say they're very <sighs> basic colors, but they're a little bit different than your ordinary, just standard colors. I think what's nice is it's a palette that doesn't have that random, like, really bright color. I think it's, all the colors are very, like, welcoming to you. So if you're very, like, not super familiar with eyeshadows and don't want to just get your regular drugstore palette, you want to get something a little bit more fancier, but you don't want to get something that is not wearable, I think this palette right here is for you. I'm going to be first starting off with swatching the entire palette so you can see it has lights, shimmers on the bottom, and it also has your dark color. So you can go all the way from the light end all the way to the dark end. I think the mattes were a little bit, if you could see they didn't have a consistency when they swatched, they were a little bit chalky. They both, they weren't super like, not one color, it was a little bit like, there's some really bright color and then it kind of just like chalked off. So I think the mattes are a little bit chalky but they're still workable. And the shimmers are so pigmented, very creamy on the finger and on the hand. They swatched perfectly. So if you like to see my three looks in one palette, keep on watching. Love is this huge mirror, so I don't even have to like get a mirror. I'm just gonna use my palette. So I'm gonna start with a soft look. Um, I think we're gonna go from soft to dramatic. Like, let's do that. So I'm gonna go in soft. I'm first gonna be taking this cream shade, putting that into my crease up here, and that's our transition color. So I'm just putting that all over. This brown right there with that same brush. No need to change. Tapping off excess. Then I'm putting that right underneath, and then just going to kind of work into there. The side, and then bring it, ooh, that's really pretty. From the outer to the outside. I'm not dipping back in, but I'm just using whatever is left on the brush, and I'm going to be sweeping that edge into the crease. It's this darker brown right here. It does have a little bit more shimmer. That's okay, I'm taking another fluffy brush, a smaller one this time. That's right here on the bottom. And I'm not bringing this into the crease, I'm just keeping it on the outside corner. And then I'm just blending it out. Brown shade, kind of champagne. I'm not trying to point anybody out or anything, but moms, this is a great makeup look that's very soft, natural, age appropriate, and very easy to do. I'm dipping into shell, just putting it in this corner of the eye. I think some people don't like it, but I promise you, ladies, it will literally open up everything the brow bone right here, just under the brow, I'm not bringing it in the front, just under here. I'm going to be taking a small fluffy brush like this, I'll shade this one right here. Motives pencil liner. And then for mascara, to finish it off, I'm taking my Motives. Well, you guys, I use this stuff every day now. It's kind of one of my favorites. I was, I was expecting to like it, but I wasn't expecting to literally love it, but anyways. This is the final look. This 
this is our look one done. I think this is super natural, but yet like, ooh, dang, look at her. I've cleaned off my eyelids, reapplied um, primer, and it's time to get a little bit more dramatic. Cream color at the top. Oh. I'm gonna go a little bit darker, a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more going out at night. I'm gonna take this brown shade, we're gonna do like going into the crease. Brown shade. More heavy handed, and now I'm bringing that truffle into the crease this time and not just on the outside. Then I'm taking a clean blending brush, blending those colors together. I'm going to be taking now this black color. A flat brush and I'm taking that um, cherry red wine color right there. Shoot, this is sexy. Then I'm going to be taking my blending brush before. I haven't washed it yet, which is okay. Blending those edges into the crease. And with that, and then blending it into that cherry color. Taking that brown, and then I'm also gonna mix it with this color. So I could have started off doing a little bit more darker at first, so I should have done that, but now I'm just gonna go back and make it darker. And then, smoking them out. Ruffle and for the outer edge, and then that raspberry for the rest underneath. Take my Motives gel liner and little black dress. I use this on everybody. Motives mascara. By the way, it is not sponsored by them. I just like them. And this is our second look. Let's cook it off, primed. We're ready for the last look, the most dramatic look of today. I'm gonna be doing a brown smoky eye, or you could do a black smoky eye, whichever you prefer. I'm doing brown because I feel like it's a little bit more natural, and I like brown a little bit more than I like black on myself. With that, again, that same white shade and just placing that all over. I'm taking this brown shade as our transition. Brown, I'm gonna be taking Maybelline's brow, brown something. And I have a little bit left on this, so hopefully I don't break it. But I'm gonna be putting this all over my lid. I'm just going to be blending out the edges. Both out, this one maybe it might blend it out a little bit more. But you kinda wanna look like a raccoon at first. You don't wanna go like, too high up, like that is fine. I'm taking that truffle color, that brown one, and I'm gonna put it all over that base that I just put. Smoking the bottom to the top out tremendously. Now this is definitely gonna take some time, but that's okay. Yes. Ooh, yes. Brown shade. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, and then blending out just the edges. If you want to be lower, this is where I would lower it a little bit more. This shade right there, and I'm going to put this on the middle of the lid. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Too sorry. So my eye is actually having an irritation right now. Do you see that? Do you see that? My eye is turning red.
These are my three looks in one palette with the Motives Element palette. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for a lot of you guys. It's very fun for me to film, even though my eye, as you can see, has had a little bit of irritation. That's okay. It happens, especially when you're taking on and off makeup for about now, like, two hours. Give this video a like, subscribe, and comment down below what you would like to see next. I'm going to be uploading, trying to at least upload a lot more. But you know, life gets busy, stuff happens, life happens, and who knows? But please subscribe so you can be notified when I post so you'll know and you'll be the first one to watch it and see it and like it and comment on it. So please do all that, it's really helpful for me. All the products that I use are down below along with my Motives website that you can order these products. It helps me out a lot if you use my specific website. If you recreated any of these looks, send me pictures on Instagram. All my social media is down below. And another huge thank you to Carl and Shannon, I really appreciate it. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!